I've heard beekeepers say they got some bees, they weren't all that good, and they were just garbage bees. Have you ever got any garbage bees? Or some people say, I bought this package, I bought this nuke, garbage. Is it the beekeeper or is it the bees that's causing this to be an issue? Well, let's dive into the dumpster today and let's find this out. And at the end of this video, which is better to start with, a package or a five frame nucleus. So let's say you start beekeeping with either a package or a five frame nucleus. And all at once you realize that these bees aren't really doing that well. They're not laying very well. They seem to be producing not much honey. I don't really like how things are going. They're, they have lots of mites. And I'm kind of feeling like maybe I got scammed. Are these garbage bees? Did I get scammed? Yes and no. I mean, it could be the producer. You could have got some faulty bee genetics, maybe. Uh, but on the other hand, nature does really well at keeping genetics where we want them. So it's not always the fault of the producer. But yeah, it might be that the producer needed to take a little bit more time to kind of look at their bees, make sure to evaluate them, that they're laying good, that they do have, you know, some signs of maybe mite resistant or something like that. Brood, uh, they might have good brood buildup. They may have less diseases and pests. Sometimes genetics does play a big role in that. Oh, and coming up in this video, I'm going to tell you my story about my experience getting some garbage bees. Now, as a beekeeper, how can you avoid getting some garbage bees? One of the things I want to really help you with today is to avoid it, you need to know the history of the bees that you're buying. How long has this producer been producing these bees. I mean, if it's on Craigslist, if it's at a farm store, they're just, you know, shipping them in. It's an overnight fly-by-night bee delivery. You don't have a lot of history. You may not even know where these bees are coming from. You may not know actually the producer at all. You just buy them, you show up in a dark alley, you exchange some money, <laughs> and before long, you got a package of bees. Well, if you have trouble with these bees and you try to call somebody back up, they're like, well, I really don't know. We just delivered were the bees or we just had them for pickup I don't know anything about them and you're kind of screwed so it's important that you do know a lot about the person or the company that's producing the bees do they have a history you know it's all about reputation are there people that you can ask who have bought these bees before so remember ask ask and keep asking until you know everything you know about how good these bees are so what do you do if the bees are good I mean Who's to blame because you know they came from a good reputation of a producer that did a really great job. Everybody else that buy, buys bees from him or her, you know, they say these bees are great, but your bees are crap. They're garbage. Well, who's to blame for this? Now, just like my thumbnail says, garbage bees, sometimes the beekeeper's skills or their knowledge about beekeeping, they lack the management styles to keep bees alive. They lack the skills, they, they lack the knowledge to really help the bees do as best as they can. So in that case, we really can't blame the seller if the knowledge is in the seller. <laughs> I love that phrase. I just made it up for this video. <laughs> I think it's great because sometimes our knowledge is in the seller. So you can't, can't blame the seller. Now, some of my friends that produce packages and nukes, you know what? They won't sell bees to new beginners that have not taken any kind of beekeeping courses or beekeeping classes. Now, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Is that fair or unfair? They will literally ask you, show me that you've taken a beekeeping class. Now, is this fair? Because they feel like they love their bees. They went to a lot of hard work to make these packages, make these nooks up, and they're going to give them to somebody who potentially may not manage them. That's a legitimate question. I want to hear your comments. So please leave a comment below. That brings up the question, what do we need to know as a new beginner? What do we need to know as beekeepers to really take care of our bees? I mean, after all, aren't bees just insects? Do we really need to know that much? Can't you just put them in a box? I mean, aren't they kind of like an ant farm? Do we really need to know everything about ants or if you want to keep some worms or something i mean do we really need to know that much yeah actually we do one of the things that we really need to understand is bee biology the biology of the honeybee you know how long are they uh, an egg how long are they a larvae how long are they a pupae what what age do they emerge 
What do they do during their life? The more we understand the biology of the bee, the better we'll manage them. Also, the biology of the colony. Now, the difference between the bee biology and the colony biology is that colony biology means how does the entire single organism as a bee colony act? And if we understand the colony, we can better take care of the bees. So leave a comment below and let me know what's your biggest struggle about doing a beekeeping inspection of your hive. Now, I know some of you are brand new to beekeeping and you may be thinking, well, I haven't inspected yet. Well, let me know in the comments what you think might be your biggest struggle in doing a bee inspection because it might be that you lack knowledge and knowledge will help you make better inspections. Do you wanna know what my biggest struggle is when I inspect my colonies? Getting stung, it really is. Because when I get stung, it distracts me, it hurts, I have to mask the pheromone odor of the alarm pheromone, I have to pull the stinger out. It just isn't really good for me. And I'm gonna tell you a story coming up about me being stung with those garbage bees that I had. So stay tuned. So what does it take not to have garbage beekeeping skills? You need to invest in you. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you financial advice or investment advice, but I will say this. Guys, the greatest thing that I have ever invested in is in myself. I'm serious. If you can invest in yourself, you would not believe the dividends that it pays. Here's how it kind of goes down though. A lot of beekeepers will spend hundreds and thousands of dollars buying beekeeping equipment, like all the hive components, the bees, the extractor. They spend thousands of dollars and pay zero dollars for the knowledge by taking a beekeeping class or learning more about beekeeping. And that's dangerous. A lot of beekeepers think when they first start out, hey, I don't need to take a class. How hard can this be? I'll learn along the way. Well, that's kind of painful. When you learn beekeeping along the way, it's not going to work out. I'll just tell you right now, it's not going to work out well. It's too much of a learning curve. What that means is your bees are likely to perish that first winter. Uh, you'll just be frustrated not knowing when to add the next box to your hive as they grow or what to do if you lose a queen, exact management styles to control mites and when to take the honey off, how much honey to leave on, it goes on and on. So sometimes learning along the way is too painful and it's too costly. Do you know how many sheds are full of old beekeeping equipment, used equipment because beekeeping Keepers started out thinking, this is going to be easy. I'm going to have fun doing this. And maybe they watched a handful of YouTube videos like mine and they think I can do this. I don't have to take a class. I, there's no reason for me to spend the money on buying a class or something like that. And so they just get started and the bees all die and they get frustrated. They get out of it. I want to encourage you to take a beekeeping class. Now, you don't have to buy my class. I would love for you to. And if you like my personality style, this may be the class for you to really get some foundation. You've got to take a basic beekeeping course so that you can have the knowledge to keep your bees strong and healthy. Okay, before I tell you my bee story, Bobblehead David says, please subscribe. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And look, when you give me a thumbs up, or click on like, it really helps my video go out to more beekeepers. All right, now let me tell you about my mistake I made. Now to be fair, I believe there are some really good organizations that work hard with this bee. And I did not go through that way. I just, you know, I didn't know much back then. I was kind of like, didn't do my homework. I was just on my own. They didn't work out well for me. And you know what? It was so bad. It was bad. I, I don't know if it's fair to call them garbage bees, but here's what happened. They stung me all the time. I mean, I, no matter how much I smoked them, they were constantly stinging me on my pants. I'd wear like a bee jacket. They would literally stitch my pants to my legs. It was so painful. And they swarmed all the time. One swarm, and then the next day they'd swarm again. Another smaller swarm, you know, after swarms and after swarms. They got so small, they didn't even really have enough bees in there to do much. And so I got so frustrated. In fact, one time, Danny Wright is, was my bee inspector here in Illinois, Department of Ag bee inspector. He's, on, he's passed on now. But he was helping me inspect these colonies. I was helping him. And gosh, he got so stung that he said, you know what, David? I want you to kill these queens and get some that aren't so aggressive. <laughs> it was so funny. And I did. I mean, I tried to make it work. I really did. I thought, okay, I'm going to put up with them for the mite resistance that I could get out of them. I couldn't handle it anymore. And so I had to replace those queens. So you always 
always need to do your homework. Another place you can do your homework is, should you buy a package or a five frame nuke? Sometimes we don't know which is better. I made a video for you guys on comparing a five frame uh, nucleus or a package of bees. Watch my video right over here and I'll see you over there.